Jonathan Banks. All Polish fans, welcome to Detroit. Ladies and gentlemen, for Detroit Polish TV, it's Rafa Nowakowski. We're at the Crank Gym speaking with Jonathan Banks. How you doing, sir? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Um, as I'm learning more and more about the gym, I'm just looking at the elite fighters that are training here. Do you live in Detroit? Yes, I live in Detroit, born and raised here. Um, and, you know, been around the Crank Gym since I was a young guy. So, yeah. Tell us what is so special about the Crank Gym. Um, what is so special about the Kronk Gym is the type of fighters and athletes they produce and a lot of type of, um, you know, it's the, I guess it's the environment. It's the, um, it's the hungry environment, it's the kill or be killed environment, it's the perfect environment for a fighter to get ready for a fight. Now we really appreciate that the Kronk Gym was able to welcome two of our fighters that are training right behind us right now and you guys are showing them sp uh, some techniques and uh, special maneuvers for the fight. Yeah, you know, at, at the end of the day it's all about showing, showing love to one another, man, you know. Um, just because they're from the other side, just because we're here and they're from over there doesn't mean that we can't coexist with each other. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, that's what made the Kronk Gym what it is. The Kronk Gym was able to coexist with everyone. And that's the foundation, in other words, that should be the foundation of the world, but that's the foundation of the Kronk Gym. It's a rainbow coalition. We're able to coexist with everyone. And that's why the Kronk Gym has been so successful. That's why people have come to train here, left here, been successful. Because, I mean, no one cares where you're from. You know, the only thing that matters, if you want to learn, you're here, let's do it. You probably answered this millions of times already, but how did the boxing started in your life? Boxing started in my life, um, you know, it's really difficult to say because it's something I always wanted to do, always. I always wanted to do it, I always dreamed about it, thought about it, stuff like that. But when I first started, it was in 1996. Um, um, actually, 1996 was a, it was the year that Vladimir Klitschko won a gold medal. Um, John Banks started boxing. <laughs> you know, I had my first fight in 1996. You know, a lot of a lot of different things happened in '96. But I started actually at the same gym Joe Lewis started boxing at. You know, and I've been in it ever since, and it's been it's been beautiful. You've got really an amazing record. I just saw you walking around, just chilling, having good time, relaxing. Somebody who wouldn't know you personally, they wouldn't know that you are an athlete of such a talent and record. Oh, thank you, thank you. Well, you know, I, I'm, I come to the gym every day. I did my workout earlier. I come to the gym every day. I help out a lot of guys here. I help train a lot of different guys because, you know, it's all about making sure everyone else is where they're supposed to be. You know, and this is my, the gym is my passion. I'm always in the gym. Whether I'm finished working out, I still stay around in the gym. Just in case someone may, someone may need some help or something, I don't know. Yeah. You know, but yeah, I'm in the gym. I try to be in there every single day, all day. Honestly, I had no idea coming here three weeks ago who I'm going to meet. I just came in, saw a bunch of people not knowing too much about boxing. I'm realizing more and more who it is, but it's a true elite, world elite of fighters. Yeah, yeah, you know, it, it's a lot of... Um, Detroit always produced a lot of good fighters, always. And um, and the birthplace of the most of elite fighters in the city came from the Kronk Gym, which is is a very fortunate situation that happened. You know, you've seen the pictures of Thomas Hearns, even Lynch Lewis came to the Kronk Gym to train. Roy Jones, back when he was a heavyweight champion of the world, he came to the Kronk Gym to train. A lot of people have come in and out the gym to train and left a good legacy behind you know that's why the Kronk Gym kept thriving because all the people that left here was able to win world titles you got Michael Moore you got um, um you got um Milton McCoy you got so many world champions Jimmy you got even Jimmy Paul you got um Steve McCoy you, he was was Olympic gold medalist um, um you have so many that won world titles they're trained out there's a product from the Kronk Gym and as of right now, Vladimir Klitschko, he's a product of the Kronk, he's a product of the Kronk Gym because some of the fact that a Kronk trainer has trained him. That's true. Now, um, a lot of young fighters are looking up to guys who already accomplished so much. What would you suggest for a young fighter starting up? For a young fighter starting out, whether you be from Poland or whether you be from Detroit, all I would say is um, is to keep keep pushing forward. Do give give your all, give it your best. So at the end of the day. No excuses. You have no excuse not to make it. Give it your all. Do your best all the time. Not some of the time, but all the time. 
I'm not sure if over the past couple of weeks you had a chance to observe uh, Pavel and Andre working out and training. What do you have to say about them? I've been observing them pretty much since they got here. It's the strange thing about it. Me and the trainer met in, um, where did we meet? I believe we met in, um, in um, Switzerland. We met in Switzerland. And we talk, we laughed and talk in Switzerland. Next thing I know, I come back home and he's here. <laughs> you know, it's weird how you see someone on one side of the world, see him here. And he's the exact same person that he is here as over there. He's a beautiful guy, man. I, I really, really like him, I tell you. But um, the two fighters, I mean, they come, they came here, you know, fighting a little bit. But now, they fighting a whole lot. They is, they have really stepped up their level of competition. They've really gotten better. Both fighters have gotten better since they've been here. Because they, they had, they fought so many, they boxed so many different people. They had so many different looks. I think it really, really did a, a good, like a, um, a boost for their career. I feel sorry for the guy, for their opponents. I really do. Uh, Jonathan, I just really wanted to thank you for such a nice uh, family atmosphere that you created and that you were able to show them some of the techniques that are going to be definitely beneficial for the future. Oh, it's, it's no problem. Anything I can do to help, you know, I'm always here.